Alright guys, Joaquin with JCC Adventures here. Today I'm just going to make a quick video on how to mount your DSLR camera onto a GoPro mount. So I like to do like talking headshots with a GoPro, but the audio on the GoPro is not that great. So I want to mount my actual camera onto the GoPro mount so that I can slide it right on and then I can be talking while I'm driving. So today I got some parts that I want to try and make one. You can buy them on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Um, they're about nine bucks, and it's probably worth it, but I got some parts laying around that I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, make it work, so here goes. All right, guys, so here's the plan. We're gonna take our existing GoPro mount. We're gonna add this. For some reason, it doesn't, doesn't even fit. Let's see if you can focus in on that. Come on, there we go. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. Like this, this hole right in here is just too small. So we gotta figure that out because right there, yeah, the holes don't even line up. So first, I gotta fix that. But we're gonna have it sit like this. So hopefully, this hole lines up. You put your screw in, and then you have your adapter, or I don't really know what you call this, but hold on, let me fix this. All right, so then you have this part going in, up through, and you can mount your camera onto a GoPro mount and have it sit flush, so you can mount it to your dash or whatever you want. All right, so first things first, we gotta figure out this here, because the hole just doesn't line up. So we want to be able to get this in, be able to tighten it off. So we need to shave off some material in between these two fingers here. So I'm going to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do it with, maybe a file or something. But got to do that and then hopefully get it on here. And then my next plan is to cut off these two fingers here, the lower one and the middle one. Then I'll take the middle one and then re-glue it to this one here so then I have a better mounting surface for this to go through and up into your camera so we'll see what we can come up with and go from there alright so I figured out I might be able to use a hacksaw right in between to kinda shave some material out and it's kinda working talk about a hack job <laughs> Very funny. All right, Let's see if this works. Oh, it's going to be that last little bit. That is perfect. All right, if you guys are trying to do this, you wouldn't have to do this part because I don't know why these are being weird, but they are. So it fits now, so now it's time to cut these fingers off. All right, now next, since this doesn't fit through this hole here, we're going to make it a little bigger so we can fit through. This is a 5.5 millimeter drill bit. There. Hopefully it's big enough. Let's see if I have to thread this through. That's fine. So, let's see. Yeah, I can thread that through. Or maybe not. I think it'll thread through. If not, we can always make it a little bigger. Actually, it might. 
just try and make it a little bigger. All right, here's a six millimeter. Yeah, that might be. Actually, that might be a little too big. I'm gonna come in from the other side just to get these other ones, see how it fits, because this one we're not gonna use, so might as well drill it out and see how it works. All right. Oh yeah, that fits in fine. I may drill in through the second one, but not the first one. Yeah, I can thread it. There, that can thread through. No problem. All right. There we go. All right. Now, it's time to cut those fingers. There's two. All right. All right. This one, I want to save and glue it. I'll clean it up, glue it up like that, so then we can fit our piece right through. And I think this should fit a little nicer now. There, it's starting to take a little bit of shape, so hopefully this will work. All right, so what I ended up doing was I just drilled this one out to uh, six millimeters, same as this one. So it kind of gave it enough room to move. So it goes in. You can see it still, still kind of hits there. So, but I think it might be manageable. So here's our mount. Obviously this isn't the actual mount that I want to use it for, but I want to mount a uh, the camera that I'm using. So I'll just use this kind of as a mounting surface. Fold that out. Line up the hole. And there we go. Um, it looks like it will work. The only thing is, is the angle. This is tipped up a little too much, more than I'd like. So what I'm going to do is probably take the hacksaw again and just shave off a little bit here. So then this will uh, fold all the way down and you can, so the camera won't be tilted down, it'll uh, be tilted up. Or I can just swing it around, mount it this way versus this way. So I'll see, see how it fits. Um, but I guess the next thing to do regardless would be to uh, glue this little finger in right there. There we go. All right. Oh, this looks, this looks like fun. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that is slick. That is the way to do it. That is definitely the way to do it. All right, we'll mix this stuff up. And there, oh boy. All right, there we go. Not very pretty looking, but wasn't really the point, so this stuff cures, I guess, in 15 to 24 hours, so we'll come back tomorrow and see how we're doing. All right, so guys, here's the uh, finished product. Um, it uh, finally dried up, so it's actually still a little, a little soft, so it could dry up some more, so I won't uh, actually uh, ream on it too bad so I don't break it. But uh, yeah, it uh, seems to work pretty good. So you can pretend this is the camera. Tighten it on. Like that. Flip that down. And then 
put it on your GoPro mount. If it fits. It's still a little tight, but it works. And there you go. You got your uh, little, little mount. All right, guys. This project actually came out quite well. So the only problem is JB Weld's white, so it looks a little funky, but uh, I can paint it down the road, so I may do that. I may not. I probably won't do it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing, though, is it might bounce around, so I probably won't use it on, like, any back roads if I'm hitting, like, any major bumps. But if I'm, uh, you know, on a regular paved road, you know, just cruising, just talking, I think it'll work fine, and the audio will be pretty good. It looks good. So if you guys have those parts or something similar, like GoPro mounts like that, uh, you can probably do this in your spare time and if you have a hacksaw. So hacksaws are great. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys found this informative. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.